This case may well be the most famous legal case of all, the snail in a bottle case. It was heard in the House of Lords in 1932. Mrs Donoghue was at a cafe with a friend and the friend bought her a local delicacy, apparently called a Scotsman floater, which is ice cream with ginger beer poured over it. The owner poured out some of the ginger beer, then left them to enjoy their food and drinks. When they poured the rest, a decomposed snail popped out of the bottle too. Once she'd finished gagging, Mrs Donoghue sued. But on what basis could she sue? She couldn't sue in contract because she had no contract with anyone. Her friend had bought the drink. And her friend's contract was with the cafe owner and it wasn't his fault. The cafe owner couldn't sue the manufacturer in contract because the cafe owner hadn't been harmed. So what about trespass? Well, there was no direct harm by the manufacturer to Mrs Donoghue. And in terms of indirect harm, the bottle has passed through a number of sets of hands before reaching her. So neither contract nor tort seemed able to help. The law of negligence did already exist, but it mainly related to the duty of care one person might have towards other people in their physical vicinity. So I might have a duty not to light a match while you are standing there with a can of petrol. In this case, the court had to decide whether that duty could be extended to a person far away in circumstances where the harm might not occur for some time. Essentially, the court found that the manufacturer who sealed the bottle of ginger beer knew that one day someone was going to open that bottle and drink the contents. And so the court found that the manufacturer had a duty of care to that person who ultimately drank the drink. And a failure to satisfy that duty could leave the manufacturer liable to damages. Lord Atkin put it this way, the duty in negligence extended to persons who are so closely and directly affected by my act that I ought reasonably to have them in contemplation as being so affected. In many ways, all of our laws of product liability and many of our laws of negligence come back to that one simple statement. Mm -hmm.